We need to get out there and score goals first, guys. Let's take it to them. I know everybody's been doing some math, counting points, figuring out where we're going to be, what time we're playing tonight, what time we're playing in the morning, who we're going to play, what happens if this happens. The only thing that matters is we go out there and play our game today. Nothing else matters, guys. Forget it all. Points mean nothing. Who we play next means nothing. What matters is defense playing better today, the second game, all right? Defense talking, making sure no one's left unattended in the zone, making sure we have that back post covered, make sure we have the weak side, somebody in the slot. Wings, it means you guys got a back check. What does back check mean again? It means you guys gotta come back and help out the defense, all right? If you do and you dip low, if you dip down to what's called the hash marks, right? Face off circles, you come down that low, you go there until the play stabilizes, until our defense and everybody regroups, then you have to start moving back out to the, to the blue line. If they have a breakaway, if we have it in their zone, and we're playing hard and we have a puck turned over, if they start coming right back down our throats, it's a rush. Yeah. That's when everybody has to back check and get into their positions on defense. All right. Everybody helps out. If you're, if you're a wing and you're the closest person back for the breakout or you know, for their rush, yeah. get back there, help out. All right, make that play happen. And again, that's where if I'm the winger and I have to go help out, and one of the defensemen is up higher, that defenseman should take my wing position until we get stabilized again. Yeah, Dave? Um, if one of the players is camped out in the slot, are we allowed to push him out? Yes. Right. No checking, guys. Great thing for bringing that up, David. There is no checking, all right? If Brian's the puck carrier, I can't flat out come in and throw a check into him. What I can do, if he's skating with it, I can come in, and now I can keep pushing him. He's the puck carrier. You're allowed to be physical. You cannot check. Big difference. If the, way, the way I was explaining it to Nick, the guy's got the puck. You play aggressive. You play the puck. You take separate the puck from the player. You don't come in like Mike did with the shoulder. You come in, and you're reaching for the puck. You're moving his sled or her sled to a side, you're going to come alongside them, I've got, I'm, I've got the puck and I'm moving down the ice and I'm trying to control the puck. Mike comes along, stick check. Right up underneath. Flip right up underneath, up. flip the stick up and then you got the puck. Or stick press, if he has his sticks down. I can stick press him down and hold his stick down. He's trying to get it up and I'm fighting to keep his stick down. He's not checking. But okay. I can come in. If that puck's on his sticks, I can come in and charge and play that puck hard. So put, put your sticks out there. If he's got the puck and I come in, I can come in like this on that puck hard. I can, as long as I'm playing the puck, I can make bodily contact with him. Okay. Be aggressive on those plays, all right? And if the ref decides that it's checking, then he'll make the call. You can't worry about what the ref may or may not call. You have to play the puck. And you're move. entitled to play the puck. Just right. because he has puck doesn't mean I can't go in there and battle for it. All okay. right? So play it hard. Now, to answer your question, if, if my goal is in the shower, Coach Bryan's in my crease, Christian's behind me, and he's in there, absolutely I can push him out. Absolutely, you can push him physically, push him out of the way, right? What's the easy way to do that? Right at the toe of the sled, right? Get up there, push the front end of their sled out of the way. Use yours to push them out of the way. That'll redirect them so they're not facing in front. Everybody understand all that? That's how they scored their last goal. The guy was camped out in front. Then he got a pass, and he put it in. Who noticed what they did on in their defensive zone? We had clear control in their zone. What were they doing? Does anybody know? <laughs> yes, yeah, They would all like group around in front of the net. They stacked in front of their goal. Three bodies in front of the goal mount. Very difficult to score. Very difficult to get a high puck into the goal. How many chests did we hit? Quite a few. Right? So what's the answer to that? Eric. Answer Eric. Do you think we should all get in there and position ourselves with them inside there? No. One. One player needs to be in front of their net too. Make room. You're allowed to push and shuffle for position. I don't want two and three wings in there, two wings, because we're just throwing more bodies and helping them out. 
You can't possibly get a goal through there. Very difficult. Even on the ground, even on the ice. There's too many blades and sticks and toe picks to try and get through. It's like Plinko. You'll, you'll be lucky to get it through. So how do we defend that? How do we compensate that? Spread them out. David and my, my defenseman come down a little bit. The center of the wings need to stay higher. We'll cherry pick some shots, but we got to get good shots in there. All right? And force them to come out and play us. If they have three people in that slot, it means they only have two people to cover four of ours. So we need to handle that puck a little bit. We've got to draw them away from the goal. Have to get them out of there. All right? Um, in our goal, make sure we're getting a body in there. I don't want to stack all of ours up. I don't necessarily agree with that strategy. So we're going to play it our way. All right? The last thing I want to talk about stick and, and fundamentals, John Wagner, I don't want to see a backhand clearing the zone. I don't want to see pushing out this way. You're stronger going forward with the puck. Passes are fine, guys. There are times where I see Timmy over there, I'm going to give him a quick backhand. But as far as clearing the zone and trying to get out, those are weak passes. I didn't mean to pick on John. Several of us did it. All right? Raise your hand if you think you gave a weak backhand pass through the, to try and clear it. Yeah, you better get yours up there, girl. <laughs> I'd say everybody had better have their hand up. All right? We have to remember that, guys. So what happens when I'm stuck on the board here? My back's to the goal. But this is the board. I am stuck. Timmy and my other players are coming on me. What am I going to do? What am I doing? Freeze, it. Freeze, it. Freeze the puck. Don't force it out. Even though we're yelling, clear the zone, clear the zone. If you don't think you can get the puck out without turning it over, I'd rather you just keep it up against the boards. For how long? As long as, as, long as it takes. So if I'm covering the board, if I am freezing the puck, right? And I'm a, a wing, let's just say I'm a wing up here, right? My, de my defense needs to be making sure they're in position. My defense should not be helping me out. Who should be helping me out? Centers. Centers should be over there helping me out. So, my goal is to the back. I'm freezing the puck. Michael, if you're the center, where should you come in from? From the outside, in front of the net. Correct. Man. You goal. If I'm here, Michael doesn't want to try and help me out on this side because if we lose the puck, there's nobody between us and the goal. Got to stay goal side. All right? Just basic fundamental stuff, guys. Man, you goal. Them, you goal in a line. Make sure you're between them and the goal. Uh, who would ask me at the hotel about where we're stacking our wings? Both, both wings, both zones. So the question was, when do I want wings on the goal side on face-offs? In the offensive zone or defensive zones? Both. Both wings, both zones, the wings should be on the goal side of the face-off. Got it? Everybody, Floyd, you got that? Both wings, both zones, we're loading up that side. Make sense? Yes. The only time we should be doing a straight-out face-off is at center ice. Start of the period and after we score goals. We score goals. Shoot hard, shoot often, and follow the shot. So they've stacked up their goal, three, three players in front of their goal. That first shot in, if you're the one taking that driving shot, you're hoping it goes in, but that's really not what you're trying to do. What are you trying to do by getting a driving shot in on the net? Yeah. You're trying to bounce it off people so our wingers can scrap it and put it in the net. So, what that means is none of this. What am I doing? Dance it around. Trying to get first. that perfect shot. Get it right up. If I get it here and I can really torque it, take a top shelf. We're thinking too much on our shots. We're not getting the puck and just hitting it to the net. Get it on net. 100% of the shots not taken don't go in. You've got to get the shot off. All right? Same thing with blue line. Remember that? We talked about going into the offensive zone and dilly down on the blue line. Get it in. Get it in hard. No weak backhands, even in the offensive zone. We had a couple of those turnovers. Like, oh, coach said get it in. I'll just backhand it in. And their defenseman picked it up, took it right down our throats. Make sure if you're getting it in that zone, you're putting it in hard off the boards into the corners, dumping it in the zone. Those are very good plays, guys. 
Hockey is a weird sport where you intentionally give up the ball or the puck. It's one of the only sports I know of. We voluntarily, you take it. But we're getting it in, and what happens once we dump it in? Somebody has to what? Chase that puck. Pressure them. Okay? So if we're coming down, we're all on offense, and I dump the puck in around the boards this way. One winger should go toward the puck to help pressure their deed. My other winger or center should be going where? The other or the boards, why? To take away the option for their defender to get the puck out. Too many times we dump it in that corner and we'd all chase to that corner and they just had a nice little easy ring around to break it out of the zone. All right, you have to anticipate what they're going to do next. So think about it. You have it in the zone, where are you trying to break it out? Boards, away from everybody. Who was raising their hand there, see? Another thing, on like teams that pass a lot, um, you know, some teams do it more than others, and they kind of just like pass it around and Yeah, if play. I were that person, who would I pass it to? Sure, play the pass. So as you approach somebody, if Seth has the puck, that's the nearest board. What I want to do is I pressure pressure Seth is I want to take away the middle. I'll let him go up the sides. I don't want him passing out that passes the middle and changing the ice on me. Yeah. If he puts it up the board, it's exactly where he's supposed to, where we want to. But if I come at him this way, leave a wide open pass to a streaking center or defenseman, we're going to get burned. Right? So as you're challenging that puck, force him outside. And I don't, I don't expect you to win most of these battles. I expect you to try, but I don't expect you to win much of them. But what we're trying to do is force Seth to make a bad choice. If I just sit here and watch him, and he's looking and he's got all his options in front of him, I haven't forced him to do anything. He can take his good sweet time. But by coming up, he either has to make a move and deep me, which takes what? Time. Or he goes to deep me and he loses it and I get the turnover. Or he have, now has to move around. And that's fine to see he moves. I'm going to come right in and I'm going to harass him. Don't let him go by without being harassed. Make sure they know you're there. He goes in there, get a stick in there on him. Get a stick under the sled. Get a stick on the puck. Harass him. Make him have to move around you. Too many times you challenge, he goes that way. Oh, pissed it. We went around that way. All right? Make sure we're aggressive out there. I think that penalty on David settled us down. We all got scared to play hockey. All right? Don't be afraid to play hockey out there. Don't forget to have fun. We've got two games tonight. Let's play hard on both of them. Let's celebrate tonight. All right? Leave it on the ice, guys. Come out breathing hard and heavy. We've got two hours to repeat. So don't think you have to save energy. I want 100% of your efforts out there. All right? David? Now guys, uh, just one thing, if when you're in the zone and we're looking to pass, it's, you, know, you hear basketball, move without the ball, who can move without the ball. If I'm on offense and Brian's my teammate and that's the goal that we're shooting at and Coach Mike is in the middle, I can't get a pass through him. So move around. Create a passing idea. lane for, your, for the guy that's got the puck. Just don't count on him trying to get the pass to you and skate around. You know, move out from the goal a little bit. Create that opening so you can get that shot. Whose job is it to make, to, let me rephrase that. It is your job to get open for the pass. It is not the puck handling, the puck carrier's job to make, to find you. You should make it real easy. So if Dan has the puck, I should be making it real easy. Michael heard you going to come out and calling for it. We did a couple good times. We were sitting right in front of the net where we're supposed to be. We even had our sticks down and wide. But we watched as they camped out right in the passing lane. So I was down here by the goal. Dan has me, but there's a defender right in between us. And I just sat there. Come on, pass to me, Dan. There's no way. Sometimes you have to go, this isn't working. Come up top, high slot. High slot, Dan, get it, and fire it. All right? So don't be afraid to keep moving. We're supposed to, right? It's the old physics. A body in motion tends to stay in motion, right? A couple times we're all sitting there, even on our points, we were just sitting there. Then the puck comes by and we're flat footed, we're just sitting there. Oh, gosh, now I have to get going. Keep that body moving, be a shark, constantly moving. Constantly moving, so when that puck's ready, when it comes by, boom, it's a quick turn and go. Keep that body moving. All right, guys.
Enough talk. Let's play some hockey. Give me a H! Oh! 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 Oh!